I'm going to do a drive-by inspection on this job. Uh, the latest phase of this work is putting in a concrete slab overlay, uh, overlaying existing asphalt, uh, and that's because of uh, the ultimate use of this area. Uh, we're going to have pretty high traffic loads and uh, weight loads. So. Um, I consider uh, temporary erosion and sediment control really a temporary storm, storm drainage system until the permanent system is in place. So with that in mind, uh, do this inspection and you can see, you know, we've got the asphalt and now we have essentially a curb. Uh, in a couple of weeks, another, the rest of the slab will be put in, but for now, at this phase of construction, this now has become a curb, a curb line. So any water that falls on the asphalt on this side is going to run down and hit this temporary curb, curb line and direct the water to the end here and end up running down this way. Now this gravel was put in probably today, so uh, this is new here. We did get some rain over the weekend, so I want to show you what happened with all the water that came off, uh, came from this temporary curb and down. And by the way, uh, there's probably about an acre and a half of water uh, or area impervious, so all the rainfall it hits is going to run off and, and run down to this point. So let me drive along the edge here. Uh, this is new too, so you're not going to see all the damage that that I've seen. Alright, so water then is being diverted, was being diverted down behind the new curb line and also behind the new sidewalk. So what you can see is a lot of erosion and sediment deposition. Now this is not an issue in itself, so you know, this is not something that I would tell the contractor you're in violation of the contract. Um, although it looks like some sediment did leave and get into the catch basin. But uh, again, because it's contained behind the curbs, it's not a water quality issue. Um, and, and in addition, all of the water from this project, six acres total, is collected and goes into a Kaida sand enhanced sand filtration treatment system. So, you know, all the water is being collected. However, we want to get the treatment system offline and out of here to save money because everything is n paved or nearly paved. So then this becomes a, a bit of an issue, you know, just contractually. Okay, so you can see all the sediment that's washed down. And over here, you can see uh, there's a lot of deposition back over in here, quite a bit. So I, I need to hurry up here. Cars are backing up. Okay, so there you can see quite a bit, and this is all deposition of sediment that's washed down. Now what the contractor's done, done a good thing down here. Well, the pump's gone, but they have the hose in place. So they've set up uh, this bucket with holes drilled, so it's basically it's a, a sump and they'll set up a little trash pump in there. So all the water is being collected and pumped over onto the asphalt here, which then gravity drains over to this point, which is the collection and pump system for the uh, chemical treatment setup. So all the water is contained. It's not a dirty water issue. However, we want to get the system out, so we don't want dirty water. And it really doesn't make sense to have clean water coming off uh, an acre and a half of impervious area up above and draining down through dirt, you know, down through here, getting dirty and then being pumped back out on the asphalt. So just, uh, you know, again, they've done a good thing, but what they could, could have done and what they could do now until everything is paved is back up where the, the, uh, that temporary curb line or concrete slab ended up above. Uh, they could have set up a, a little collection point and a pipe, you know, probably a four-inch pipe, flexible pipe, 
uh, from that point down over into here somewhere where they could have you know drained it out onto the asphalt would have kept the water clean all the way so that would that that's the temporary storm system that I would have suggested they put in um, but at this point since it's going to be all paved in probably two weeks it really is not that big a deal I just wanted to point it out it's a it's a good good illustration of managing stormwater during construction.